All right, y'all, get ready for the funniest story of the week. Um, so, uh, I came to work, it's Tuesday. <sighs> Dead as fuck at my job, not really doing shit. But, um, but I decided to get coffee because like, why not? So I got coffee. You know, you can either go right or wrong with coffee, right? Like, you can either benefit from it or not. And, I mean, your girl over here did not. Not today. So, okay. I was, like, tired and I went to go get coffee. Sweet. I went to go get coffee and, um... And, you know, I started to feel the side effects, you know? Um, I don't know about you guys, but... Fucking coffee makes me get the shits, you know? It makes me... Basically not constipated. <laughs> but, like, I don't know if this is too much info, but whatever. Um, because the story is fucking hilarious. So... Um, I go to talk to my boss to see if she has anything for me, you know, for the day, any tasks, anything she wants me to do. Fuck. And so, um, I ended up like, on my way there, I'm gonna need to go see my boss and talk to her. Fuck, it's not, she, um, I mean, on my, on my way there, I was like, kind of farting, like, passing gas. Because that's kind of what I do sometimes. I mean, you're fucking human. Like, I'm not gonna fucking hold it in. Like, I'm gonna fart if I need to. Like, when no one's there. Okay, like, I'm not gonna fart when someone's there. But, um, so I end up getting to the office. And, you know, I'm, my stomach's, like, bubbling, you know. And I was, I'm like, fuck. Like, I need to fart. Like, or, like, I need, like, to pass gas. I keep saying fart, but we'll pass gas, whatever. Um, and so fucking stupidest thing happened like my I guess I couldn't stop it like the little like the tiniest fart came out like the smallest fucking fart and I was like oh fuck like does she fucking hear me fart and I was like kind of freaking out and I you know I kind of started to like fuck with my feet or like trying to make mimic the same you know noise I made and I kind of did but like I don't really know if she even heard, like, me passing gas up on her, but, uh, that shit was funny. At least, it was funny for, like, a minute, but, uh, but it wasn't funny when I was there. I was like, oh, shit, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to cover up what I did. But, um, it was fucking hilarious, like, now that I look back into it. And, um, but I honestly don't think she heard. Um, she's kind of old, well, not old, but, like, you know, um, I don't think she has good hearing anymore, so I don't think she heard, thankfully, because that would have been embarrassing. Like, I wonder, I wonder what would have happened. Like, I'm kind of glad that I didn't shit, because, you know, um, yeah, but, um, but I wonder what would have happened if I farted like louder, you know? Like, I wonder what happens in those instant instances. Like, do you apologize? Like, do you say, oh shit, oh, I'm sorry? Or do you say, excuse me? Pardon me. Because I feel like holding in your farts is kind of hard sometimes, you know? Like, at least for me. Um, or for people that have gas problems. A discussion of the day. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know you guys, like, if you guys have any embarrassing, like, farting stories, too. Like, I don't know. I find it funny, but, like, at the same time, you kind of learn, like, what to do when stuff like that happens. But, like, thankfully for me, it wasn't that loud. And, um, and you know, I kind of covered it up or whatever. I tried to at least. But it was hilarious. And, um, 
the lesson I learned was uh, when you have a meeting with your boss, uh, try to sit down, you know? <laughs> or at least when you had coffee, try to sit down. Because if you stand up, it's going to be really hard to hold it in. Yeah, that's basically how my day started. Also, I lost the little, you know, little barbell, I don't know what it's called. But... So yeah, my fucking week is going great. Oh, and also it's Tuesday. Hey guys, it's Wednesday today. Um, on my way to work. Oh, I'm really hungry. I wasn't planning on vlogging right now, but uh, I kind of have something to get off my chest. Also, my makeup looks bomb. But uh, <laughs> so uh, I don't. I'm kind of disappointed. So uh, I found out something today that um, like was I guess was kept from me. The the certain person didn't hasn't mentioned or didn't mention anything to me yet but it's something that's ongoing so I'm just like what the fuck um I feel like it's really important it's key in a friendship or like in any in a relationship even um to you know have some kind of trust between each other or you know be friends you know tell each other well, not everything, but like what you're comfortable sharing or, you know, or something that's worth sharing. But this certain person that I'm talking about it has always been like that, you know, um, it's always been kind of like I have to wait really long for them to express themselves or tell me something important. Um, and I have been disappointed like a lot of times. Um, you know, when I thought I was important enough or when I thought I was, you know, not worthy, but trusted, you know, um, but I was actually not trusted. And that's, I feel like that's just key in a friendship or in a relationship, you know, to have that trust and to be, um, communicate, communicative to have that communication and it really just fucking makes me sad and I wanted to rant because like I know that this is what friendships or relationships go through but I just think it's like shitty you know it's um it's really shitty I don't know what to feel right now I don't know like should I wait for that person to tell me or should I bring it up um but I know that the longer I keep this in, the longer I'm going to feel bad. So I don't know if this happened to any of you guys, but, uh, it fucking sucks. Like, feeling like, you know, like you're not trusted or worthy. When you're in a relationship or a friendship for a really long time, you know? Like, I'm not just talking about someone you met last week, you know what I mean? Like, someone you've been knowing for, like, years and years. And um, for that trust not to still be there, that kind of, I don't know, it kind of makes me, you know, rethink things, definitely, into, like, what, how, like, how much effort I'm putting into, you know, this relationship, um, friendship. <sighs> yeah, I guess this week hasn't been that great. <laughs> um. I'm not really planning on doing anything today either. Like, I just realized it was Wednesday. This week's going off by so slow. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Maybe, you know... I don't know. Maybe for some advice? If you have any? You know, like, what do you do? Like, do you think I think I should just wait till they, the person tells me, or do you think I should um, bring it up? Because I don't know. Because I don't want to be selfish either. Like, I don't want to be like intruding. Because I do understand that there is a personal life. You know, there is a side that no one else knows and only you keep for yourself. 
but like to what extent you know um is that okay in a relationship you know in a long-term relationship yeah just really disappointed started off my morning pretty bad or not as positive as i would have wanted but yeah i guess i'll see you guys later i guess i'm gonna keep this on to see if um i can talk about something like i think of something to talk about just because it's boring and i'm on my way home hmm. I got a new, uh, pier not piercing, um, septum ring. It's smaller than, um, the one I had before, or the ones I've tried. And I don't know how, ow. Oh, I have, like, a fucking like nasty-ass pimple. Ow. And I've been, like, trying to sleep, like, on this side. And I think I'm just making it more painful. And... Uh, but oh yeah the piercing it's um smaller and i don't know how i feel about it i mean i kind of liked the big one and how it looked on my face because um my nose is like pretty i want to say uh, i don't know it just looked better with my nose really just did Okay, I'm so fucking stupid. Uh, I was listening to Shakira, and like, you know how she kind of like, well, she, <clears throat> she kind of like moans a little when she's, whoa, look at my face. You know how Shakira kind of moans when she sings sometimes? I'm like, I'm like, I wonder what she sounds like when she's like, you know, getting fucked. It's night right now. I think it's gonna be 11 30. I haven't really been vlogging that much. Um, I didn't vlog Monday, that's it. But I haven't been vlogging much, it's basically just been like car vlogging, and it's mainly because I haven't been wanting to, to be honest. I haven't, well, it's not that, it's just that I've been in a kind of in a bad mood and it hasn't really been like a great week um you know you're probably like damn she's like she has problems she's so fucking depressed all the time but um it's totally human to not have good days and i happen to be vlogging on those days you know and it's something that um everyone goes through but uh so yeah that's why the, i have I have lacked, you know, vlogging my sisters or, you know, things I do because I've just lacked, you know, that motivation or to do anything this week because of stuff that's going on right now. Um, yeah. I want to apologize, but at the same time I don't because I don't really feel like apologizing for, um, or something I choose to do like I'm choosing to vlog every every other week and you know it's like my choice on what days or how I'm feeling I mean not, not, not how I'm feeling but it's like my choice to do this to be here to talk to you so you know it's it's not like I'm um being forced to it's just something that I want to do I want to talk to you guys I want to express myself and you know, what I'm feeling, what I'm doing. But yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know that that's what's going on. And that's why I'm not as active as I probably once was two weeks ago when I first uploaded my my first vlog. Um, yeah, it's a different week, definitely. Uh, 
I was much happier that that week. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's completely normal, I guess. You know, you have your good days and bad. <laughs> you can't really do anything about that, right? But surround yourself with good people. With good, positive people. Which sucks, because I don't have any. Probably only, like, two. Or one. Probably only one. Uh. But, you know what I mean? I have, I have you guys. I have people that don't know me and still you know have sympathy or empathy for you know for what I do and how I feel so thank you guys for that really I appreciate that you come and you know you watch my videos you leave you DM me nice things you comment nice things um or you you know subscribe um, it's like, honestly, it just means the world because, uh, getting support from people in my life has always been, uh, absent. You know, I haven't always been, um, supported, <clears throat> you know, in my decisions or, like, on what I choose to talk about. Um, I've always been kind of weird and, you know, the misfit, as I like to say, and excluded from a lot of things, so... And a lot of people so knowing and and seeing that people you know are accepting me and are willing to you know learn more about me learn more about how I think how I live my life is honestly something that I can't even fathom I think I use the right word but I don't know I've I've, I've heard it in that sentence I'm hoping it's the right word but I think you know what I mean um it's just something unbelievable, you know, it's something that I never thought I would, you know, get to. And I feel like a lot of the things I have to thank, you know, that person that gave me this opportunity. Um, Noelle, you know, Karina Vargas. Um, this is the first time I talked her, about her, you know, in front of an audience. And, um, fuck, I'm gonna cry. Um... Fuck, I feel like I always cry in videos. Okay. She was the only support that I had. Like, when I was, like, 18, 17, when I, um, first, like, started, I guess, senior year or, like, in the middle of senior year. And, um, she was the only one there, you know. And for a while, she was the only one there, you know? Um, and she was like my big sister, so, you know, I told her things that I would never, like, I would have never told anyone, so. She gave me the opportunity, you know? She gave me this. She gave me this platform, and she gave me a voice. Or she gave me somewhere to, you know, use my voice. And like honestly, now that she's gone, it's like I'm missing a, a part of me. You know, I'm missing like my other half because I've always thought she was like my sister. I'm just, I just really miss her and her wisdom and the way she would, you know, say and show that she's proud of me. Because hearing that from someone, you know, that also had a hard life or has, like, been through the same things I have, you know, was helpful. It was. And I thank her so much. I thank her so much because I wouldn't be here, you know. I wouldn't be this confident. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I don't know, I just wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't be here talking about her, and I wouldn't be here crying about her because she was such an amazing person that gave me, like, the strength and the guts, you know, just to be who I am. And she believed in me, and that's why I'm here right now. One of the reasons I'm here right now, you know, I just... Oh, she was just an angel. 
And she still is. My angel and I, I think of her constantly. And I don't want people to think that I forgot about her because how could you, you know? I'm gonna calm myself down a little bit. But yeah, I mean... People like her, you know? I know there's countless people like her. And I try every day, you know, to be... To aspire to be someone like her. Who gives love to strangers. Who has sympathy, empathy for strangers. I try to be that person, you know, and make friends... For, make friends um, for those or make friends with those that are or were like me, you know? So, it's one of my one of my biggest role models, to be honest. And I'm not ashamed of it. You know, she was so successful. She was going places. She was beautiful. She was down to earth. And I want to be like that, you know? I want to aspire to be something that was never expected of me. That was never believed, you know, that I could do. So. Fuck, I cried again. So I think I'm going to just stop this here, you know. I feel like this is a good way to end it, you know. Cry on face. Uh -huh. You know, if the car vlogs do get annoying, just let me know because... Um, I do do a lot of those, you know, I, I find it easier, it's just really because I'm alone, and I could just vent and talk about whatever I want, you know, um, but let me know if that's annoying, you know, or let me know if you want to see, like, more things, because I also, like, two days ago, I, I stayed up pretty late, I can't burp. Okay, um, two days ago, I stayed up late. I can't burp. Oh. Don't you fucking hate it when you can't burp? And, like, it's, like, over here, and then, like, it goes back down. Okay, whatever. Um, um, two days, two days ago, I, I, I started painting, you know. I couldn't sleep. I was sleepy, though, but I couldn't sleep. So, I started painting, and... Fuck it, I'll just show you guys. Um, I started painting. I don't really know if you guys want me to record myself painting. Let me show you. I've been kind of working on this piece. It's nothing special right now, and I don't really like how it looks right now, but... I guess let me know if you guys want to see, like, me painting. Also, newspapers, because I told my boss to give me some. For, like... A project I've been thinking of using that big old canvas, but uh, I guess let me know if you guys wanna, um, you know, see me paint some stuff. Also, fire please. I also wanted to show you guys my other side of my room because I put up uh, art stuff. So. Um, so far this hasn't given me nightmares, so that's a pro. But, um, I feel like, I don't know, it kind of looks good, but it kind of clashes a lot. Like, I need to have more color, you know, in my room in order to make that work, I think. But I'm, like, really liking, you know, how my room is kind of simple, and then BAM! You know what I mean? Um, cool or not cool? Let me know. Alright, I think that's it for tonight, you guys. Um, thank you again so much for watching, um, commenting, DMing, you know, positive feedback, positive vibes. Thank you so much for all of those. I really do appreciate it, and I want you to know that I really do feed off from that. I really do, it really does make me smile and it makes my day a whole lot better. It really does. So... If you have good positive feedback, leave it and tell me about it or tell me of it and to me. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Also, uh, I'm 
gonna be vlogging next week. Next, next week. Next week in two weeks again. So I guess let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Maybe that's a thing, right? Maybe you could tell me what I should talk about. Maybe you have advice. Um, questions. Leave them down below or comment on my picture. I usually post a picture on Instagram knowing you guys that I uploaded a vlog. I'm fucking acting like I've been doing this, but it's barely like a fucking week ago. Anyways, I did that once and I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, and what else did I want to say? Um, fuck. Oh, fuck, I don't, I don't want to cut this, you know? I want to fucking just keep it. Okay, hold on, let me try Okay, so I can't remember. So whatever, um, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. And I hope you guys, um, enjoyed this. And, you know, got something from it. Even though my life is fucking pointless and you probably didn't learn shit. But I learned shit, you know, I learn shit every single day. Okay. Bye, guys.